Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing my ride or die tag, which I'm very excited about. Jaclyn Hill did create this tag, and I feel like it's it's a pretty decent tag because we go through so many products, like as like bloggers and as people who just like love makeup, we go through so many products and we say we love this one each and every month, but it's like what are the ones that if we are like stuck on a desert island or if we really, really, really had to choose only one product for each category of makeup, like what would it be? So I have come together and I've picked all of my ride or die products that I cannot live without. Okay guys, so before this video gets to be really long, I want to just kind of jump right in. Um, I tag everybody watching this. I'm not honestly going to list anybody specifically, but I'm going to tag everybody watching. So if you guys do make a response video to this, definitely like, let me know on social media. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Send me links, private message me, anything you guys want to do. I want to see what you guys are in love with. And honestly, it'll probably help me like try some different products and some of these may like dwindle away and maybe some of the products you guys talk about will make me love them. So without further ado, here are the products that I honestly cannot live my life without. Okay guys, so first category is primers and I cannot live without these two and I've used these for probably a year and a half on my channel since I've been like consistently doing YouTube and it is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and Smoothing. This primer is so bomb. Like, honestly, if you guys have pores or texture on your skin, this will smooth all of that away, like, in an instant. I have very big pores in this area of my face. It's just always been like that. And when I apply makeup on it, it definitely accentuates those pores. But when I go in with this primer, honestly, it smooths my skin out, and it really does make the foundation go on so effortlessly. It just, like, glides over my pores, and you just don't see them, even throughout the day. Like, you know how some you'll apply, like, a primer like a pore filler and like later on you'll notice that like oh my god like I can see my pores the foundation is literally eating it like my pores are literally eating the foundation this does not happen this does retail for $36 it's a little bit more on the expensive side but honestly guys I swear I can't live without it so definitely try it they do have like little small ones at like the beauty on the go or beauty on the fly or whatever in Sephora try it out and see if you guys like it it's great even if you have dry skin because the matte one is very mattifying it will literally suck the oil right out of your skin so i just choose to use that one instead the next one i want to talk about is the becca ever matte poreless perfecting primer this one is great if you have oily skin i use these two in combination together i don't like putting this all over my face i think that it over dries me out too much and it makes like sometimes you know when you apply like a really mattifying primer it'll sometimes like make your skin look like white that is what happens with this if I apply it all over my skin I swear to god so I honestly will just apply this in my t-zone area and it will keep my face shine free throughout the whole entire day and I will use these two in combination to get the look that you see I'm wearing right now next on the agenda is foundation and I honestly couldn't pick just one because I have two that I really 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 love so first we'll go with the one that I'm wearing right now and that is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation I found this foundation maybe six months ago no probably longer than that I think I don't know it's been a while since I've found this foundation and I am a foundation junkie like I have a huge foundation drawer back there filled with foundations that just didn't work for me or some that I like but I don't love I'm never satisfied with the foundation I'm always constantly looking so this one was the first one to get me to actually love it. This is full coverage. It, it is a little bit on the heavy side, so a little bit goes a long way. I did have to learn that myself. I honestly applied, like, so much the first time because I really like a heavy coverage foundation. That's just my preference. I like a full coverage. And, yeah, you do not need a lot with this. A little bit goes a long way. And I think it's really reasonably priced. You know, some foundations are, like, really expensive. This one, I think, was $36. Um, with tax, it was, like, 40 And I honestly don't mind paying that because this bottle lasts forever. This was my summer shade that I bought at the end of May, beginning of June, and I'm just running out right now. So I will be picking up my winter shade because I am getting a little bit on the fair side and the dreadful fall is coming. But I did, I really do love this. This does last for 15 hours. If you have a wedding that you've got to be in or you have to wear makeup all day, that honestly, that foundation will literally be your life saver, especially if you have oily skin. If you have more of a dry comedy like dry skin i feel like there is one for that but i honestly don't know exactly it but for me oily skin perfect the next one which is a little bit on the more affordable side and that is the l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation and i am obsessed with this i do the reason this i couldn't choose between them between like 
Estee Lauder being like number one in this one is because I love Estee Lauder because it wears forever and it keeps me pretty matte. But this looks so effortless on the skin. I swear to God, this literally makes my skin so smooth. I, it's like, it looks like such a thin layer of foundation. Like, it's not even cakey in the slightest. I could add powder on it, powder on it, powder on it. It, it will not cake up. Like, it honestly won't cake. And this lasts so long. Like, I honestly will wear this and four hours into it, I'm just like, I will blot my face, not even because it needs to, because my skin is very, like, matte, but I'll blot it because of, out of habit of having to blot. So, this one is great if you have really oily skin and you really want your makeup to last and stay matte for a while and not get oily or your skin, like, peek through. The only thing about this is because it is so matte, if you have, like, a little bit of dry skin or a dry patch or if you don't apply enough moisturizer, there will be, like, a white patch, there will be a white patch on your face and it'll look like it's really dry. So be careful with this one when it comes to that. Make sure you're really hydrating your skin when you're oily because that foundation will dry it out. So now we're gonna move on to concealer and you guys can already guess which one this is. I've honestly tried so many concealers like I've said, but the one that really takes the cake is the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Ultimate Complete Coverage Concealer. I never say the name of this because it's so long and so inappropriate to be that long. But this concealer, I have been through about seven tubes of this over the last year and a half, I would say. And I'm obsessed. There is nothing that will beat this. There is not a thing. This is full coverage, crease resistant. It's definitely not crease proof. I do get a little bit of creases, but it's crease resistant. And it lasts for so long. And it's a very full coverage. Like, it's amazing. And it's not heavy underneath the eyes. And I really love the applicator of this. I think the applicator of this is probably my favorite one ever. It's the Dofa applicator that, like, bends. Because the NYX one is, like, so hard. Like, I don't like it. Like, this one, I can easily just draw lines all over my face and highlight. I really love this concealer. I don't think I can find anything that I like better. If I was trapped on a desert island and the only thing that I could choose for concealer, it would be that. And I feel like a lot of other people in the world feel that way. Like, that concealer just takes the cake for a lot of different people because... It honestly is so good, and I don't know what magic is in there, but it's so damn good. And that retails, I think, for $26 or a little bit more. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's worth it. I would literally go in with a gold brick and be like, here, take all my money, because I will need this forever. Next, I'm going to do brows. I don't think I've seen anyone do brows, or I haven't, like, when I was going through the list of, like, Jacqueline's things, I didn't see brows, but I'm going to talk about mine. You guys know Anastasia Brow Definer. Well, Anastasia Brow Products in general are, like, my go-to. I know I've been using a lot of Benefit stuff lately, but that doesn't mean that Anastasia is still not my number one. I, if I was going to go out and I needed my brows to look the absolute best, it would literally be an Anastasia Brow Product that I'm putting in there. It's just... It's just it. Like, she's the queen of brows, and her brow products are amazing. This is the Brow Definer. I did love the Brow Wiz for a really long time until this came into my life, and then I was done. Like, the Brow Wiz, like, gone, whatever. Like, honestly, I'll still use it, but this one has been my favorite. It's beautiful. I'm actually running out of this right now. It's in my brows as we speak, and this is just, it's amazing. Like, her brow products last so long. The pigment is there. The color range is literally amazing. Like, it's so good. Like, I've never seen brow products that are done so well, so I'll definitely give her the props to that because she definitely deserves it. Okay, next is a face powder. This I can't say is my ride or die, but it is one of my favorites so far. Like, I don't know why. I've been using it for a while, um, but it is the CoverGirl Translucent Powder. I wore this out last weekend, and honestly, I took flash photography, and there was no, like, whiteness. Like, under my eyes was a little bit lighter, but I did set my whole face with the powder, and it did not give foundation flashback or, like, any of that. So that's really good for that. I honestly am not very picky when it comes to powders. There are some that I like over others. Um, I really liked the Laura, Laura Mercier powder. That was really nice. Um, I just haven't repurchased, but honestly, if you guys are looking for something more on the affordable level, I definitely would say this is my ride or die powder because I'm more apt to spend more money on foundation than I am for a face powder because to me, they pretty much all do the same thing. It's all about what you're applying underneath that powder that's going to make the difference. Okay, so next is blush and this you guys also will know because I, I use this all the time. Like, I have tried many different blushes. I have many different blushes, but I always gravitate towards this one because I just really like the color with my skin tone and the formula and the pigmentation. It's amazing. This is the Sigma Blush in Heavenly. This is just like their little powder blush. And it's just such a nice 
warm, corally orange. This is on my cheeks every single day. I do try different blushes occasionally. I have so many. I have a lot of Makeup Geek ones that I really like, um, and I've got some... NYX ones, I've got a bunch of them, but I and MAC ones, but this one just takes the cake. I literally love this one so much, and that's why it's in my ride or die tag. Obviously, it wouldn't be here if I didn't love it, but I just, I don't know what it is. I think the color just looks really nice on my skin tone, and I can never, I can never not use it. So next is bronzer, and this I literally am obsessed with. Sorry guys if I'm saying like literally and obsessed so much throughout this video, but obviously I'm talking about my ride or die products, so that is where we're going with that. My favorite bronzer of all time, you guys know, is Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I've tried many different bronzers. So many are orange and like they're very patchy and their pigment just isn't there. But this one is amazing. It is so good. I, like I said before, I like it a lot when I am a little bit on the tanner side. When I'm at my palest pale, I can't wear it because it does show a little bit, it shows up a little bit orange on me, but that's because my skin is like no melanin and it's no pigment, I'm white, I'm Casper, that's why it looks the way that it does. But this bronzer is everything. It's, it's just the right amount of like cool and warm tone in there where it just like, it's amazing. Like it's amazing. I love this bronzer. I know so many people have talked about it. Benefit, I mean, they kill it. Like, Hula Browns is probably their number one seller out of, like, their whole, like, gondola because it's so good and so many people do love it. And I like that it's, like, a matte matte bronzer. Like, I'm sick and tired of, like, going and seeing, like, bronzers that are so orangey and so glitterly, glittery and sparkly. Like, I'm sorry, I want my bronzer to be matte. Like, if I wanted to highlight my skin, I'm going to apply a highlight where I want it. I don't want my whole cheek to be shimmer. Do you guys feel me? Am I the only one that's, like, feeling that way? Yes, I am obsessed. Hula Bronzer will take the cake as my favorite bronzer of all time. My favorite highlighter, um, this was kind of a little bit difficult because I do love highlighters. I've been through a lot. I have some Ride or Die MAC ones, but this, I mean, if I had to choose one, like if I had to choose one and I couldn't buy any other highlighters for the rest of my life, it's going to be Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. This is is so beautiful. I, as you guys see, I'm like hitting pan on it as we speak. Um, I love it. It just complements my skin tone. This one is great. I really like the formula of Becca's um, products. I just think that they're really pretty. They're very creamy. Um, this is not glittery. It's not chunky. It's nice. It glides on so well. I do have it on my cheeks today. I am obsessed and it's great. And I think that it's very affordable. I think Becca products are very affordable. Plus the packaging I think is very, very, very cute. But this one has been through the mill and back. That's kind of why it looks the way that it does. Okay, so favorite mascara. I know I have not used this one in a very long time, but honestly, I this one I went through so many tubes of way back in the day and I still, if I had to choose, this would be my ride or die mascara. And that is Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is so good. I have very, very, very like nice lashes as it is so if I want to just apply a couple coats of mascara just to make me look like my eyes are a little bit more awake this will make my eyes look amazing it's because it has a plastic brush head and it does not clump I know you guys it probably won't focus or whatever but this one makes my lashes look so long they're not clumpy they're literally separated they go out fan out and I get so many compliments when I wear this mascara so this one is definitely going to be my favorite it's probably a lot of people's favorites I've heard that it's irritates some people's eyes like my grandmother she had like issues with it like she was wearing it for a while because I got her hooked on it and then after a while she was like oh my god my eyes itch my eyes itch and I've heard that from a couple people but honestly me thank god that I do not have issues with it because I'd probably cry and just like start sticking tar on my eyelashes honestly hey guys we're like trucking through we're almost done we're on to lip products now and the first one is a lipstick and I don't really use this much on my channel, but my friends know that I use this all the time. Every time I go out and I need a lip, co lip color, this is where I go. And that is Max Honey Love. It is just this nice, pretty nude. It's more of like a warmer nude. This is what it looks like. Isn't that so pretty? It is more of like a warmer nude. I don't ever really wear that by itself anyway. Because it is a matte lipstick, I will apply a gloss over it because I don't like the feeling of having a matte lipstick on my lips when I go out. Because then you gotta worry about it drying and getting flaky and all that. So I'll apply a gloss over it. But honestly, this is my favorite color ever. I really like going for a super nude lip every time I go out because I always do like a smoky eye or I always do something very dramatic on my eyes because I want my eyes to be like the center focus. Well, I mean, 
along with me. Um, I don't really want to do like a crazy, crazy lip like I'm wearing now. I will just do this nude lip, which always comes through and it always is always there for me when I need it. I have so many MAC lipsticks, as you guys see, like way back there. But this one is the only one that's ever gotten as far down as this. The next is a liquid lipstick, and this one, this was another tough one because I have so many liquid lipsticks, and I've tried so many formulas, and I've tried so many brands, but this one, I've got to say, has got to be my favorite. I always gravitate towards this one. When I'm looking to, like, wear a lip anywhere, this is, this is what I'll wear. And that is Jeffree Star's Celebrity Skin. I love a nude lip. As you guys see from both of my lipstick swatches, they are going to be nude. This is a very, very, very nude liquid lipstick. That is this one right here. See them next to each other? They're so similar, it's disgusting. This one is just a little bit more pinkier than this one. This one's more of like a nude, 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 like a brown nude. But I am obsessed. I really like the formula of his liquid lipsticks. I am wearing another one of his on my lips right now, Dominatrix, which, I mean, if you guys were wondering, all of the products that I have on my face will be listed on my Instagram probably somewhere. Um, I'll probably like, post details if you guys want to know. But that, um, his liquid lipstick formula is so nice. It's a very, like, thin consistency, but if you build it up, it doesn't get, like, cakey and start, like, messing it up. Because I know that some liquid lipsticks that I've tried, if I go to layer them more and more and more, like, they start to flake up and get really thick and really disgusting. So, with his, I have to say, I can layer it a couple times and it won't do that. It won't make my lips feel super dry. Okay, so next is a lip gloss. And this was another really tough one. Lip products, I feel like, was really tough for me because I am very picky on my lip products. And I've tried a lot of glosses. I have a lot of the Anastasia glosses. I have a lot of high-end and drugstore. I've got some Marc Jacobs. But this brand and this, like, style of gloss is my favorite. I've tried many different colors in the same formula, and I literally love them all. So I can't pick, like, a specific color, but I will just tell you, it is the NYX Butter Glosses. I used to wear, if you guys are my ride or die like, Instagram followers or YouTube followers, I used to wear Angel Food Cake all the time. If I had a lip product on my lips, like, in an Instagram post, it was Angel Food Cake. It's just what I lived for. I loved it. It was great. And now I have this Peach Crisp, whatever one this is, Peach Crisp. And I'm obsessed. It's what I wore in my back-to-school look. And it's just the formula of them are so nice. They are so opaque but they're not, like, so, like, because the Anastasia ones are very pigmented. They are very pigmented to the point where, like, if they start, like, drifting, like, up your lip, it's noticeable. But these ones are just the right amount of pigmentation where you can see it on your lips. It tints your lips, but if it goes outside of your lip line, it doesn't make you look kind of, like, nuts and crazy. Okay, so next is a pair of lashes, and this one, people, people who know me, like, know that these are my favorite because I will buy these weekly. Like, I'll buy them weekly, like, still. And that is the Vegas Nate Grand Glamour Lashes. These are the ones in the blue. I've tried the purple. I've tried the orange. I've tried a bunch of Ilora lashes. These ones are my favorite. Every time I go out, I will buy a pair of these lashes just to wear them and make sure that I have a fresh pair each time. Even if I bought, even if I'm going out like two Saturdays in a row, I will buy a fresh pair so I don't have to wear the same pair of lashes over. Even though these wear really, really nicely, I could wear these probably 20 times in a row and they would still be nice. But I buy these so much. Like I have so many boxes of them in my lash drawer right now. Because I'm just obsessed. Like, they're so good and they're so cheap. They're like 10 bucks and they last so long. I used to be obsessed with Velour lashes. Not that I'm, not that I don't like them anymore. I do like them. But, like, these are so cheap. Like, these are 10 bucks and they last just as long as those. Okay, so next is an eyeshadow palette. And I don't know if you can count this as, like, cheating. But I can't pick, like, a specific eyeshadow palette besides my Z palette that I created. Um, I like the ability to have... A custom. Well, I love my Z palette. Honestly, this is, it's just amazing to me because it's custom. Like, it has all of my favorite shades in there. It has my neutrals, it has my reds, it's got my warms, it's got my darks. It's got everything that I want in a palette. So honestly, why am I going to choose a palette that was created by someone else when I can choose a palette that was created by moi? So I do. I love this palette so much. Like, I have done, um, my favorite eyeshadows, but I don't think that this made it in there for, like, my favorite neutral shadows, but these are it. A lot of these are Makeup Geek and Anastasia. Those are just my favorite eyeshadows, like, single eyeshadows. They are honestly so cheap, so affordable, and probably the best on the market. Um, I've tried a lot of different eyeshadow companies, a lot of eyeshadow brands. Makeup Geek and Anastasia really have killed it, and this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. Honestly, I can create a dramatic look with this. I can create a neutral. I can create a colorful. Like, I can do so much with this look. 
with this palette, so that's why it's my favorite. Next is going to be the setting spray, and this was kind of tough because I loved the Urban Decay. Like that, I was ride or die with the Urban Decay for a really long time, like years and years and years. And then Mac Fix Plus, I started buying bottles of that, and it's been my favorite ever since. Um, I am obsessed with this. I, this bottle is completely almost empty. Like it's literally amazing. Um, I like this because when I spray it on my face, it just takes the powdery look away. It doesn't really help with like making my makeup last longer. I think all the products that I apply before help with the longevity of my makeup. I can't really say that I give it to this for that, but I, I can't not spray this on my face because I feel like I really want my makeup to be uniform. I don't want it to look powdery. I don't want it to look cakey. So spraying this on there really just helps mold it all together. After you spray your face with a setting spray, you will notice that your makeup just starts to mesh together and it just molds together and it just looks beautiful. So I definitely recommend everybody have a setting spray. I think that it's very important just for completing the whole entire look, not even just for the longevity of your makeup, just for the fact is it's going to make your makeup look even better. All right, guys, last product is my perfume, and I love this, and it's my favorite, and it's almost gone, and I need to buy more, but that is the Dolce & Gabbana. I think this is Rose Excelsa, or whatever it's called. I can't say it, but I love it. It's got this cute little rose at the top. It smells so good. If you guys knew how many compliments I got when I wore this fragrance, when I wear this fragrance, it's crazy. People literally all the time like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm like... Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. So good. Like, there's the one with the white flower. I don't really like that one as much. I really like this one so much. It just smells so fresh. And it smells just, like, not strong. It's not musky. It's florally, and I really do like a florally scent, obviously. I like a florally. I don't like musky. Um, and I don't like it to be too strong either. Like, I don't want to walk into a room and people's eyes are, like, bug out of their head. They're like, what is that smell? Like, it smells good, but it's very intense. That's what I don't want. So that is my favorite. I don't know if you guys have smelled it. Definitely go to a Sephora or an Ulta. Smell it and you guys will know what I'm talking about. It is so, 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 so good. Okay, guys. So that is all that I have for my Ride or Die makeup tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. The button will be down there. I definitely tag you guys to do this tag. And I really want to see what you guys are loving. Well, that's all that I have for this video. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah.